So hello everyone, welcome to EduTap, I am Surbhi and this is Perspective 360 Degree, your one-stop solution for current affairs, descriptive writing and answer writing evaluation. Yesterday, because of some uh, unavoidable circumstances, because of some technical issues, the session uh, that is uh, for uh, for World Economic Forum, it could not be conducted and hence you are receiving this video in a recorded premiere uh, format today and uh, you know everything is going to just stay the same, uh, there is only one difference that the live chat chat though it will be active but I will not be able to take your responses in the live chat so kindly bear with me uh, for today and also the subsequent sessions of Perspective 360 degree they are going to stay the same okay so first of all, let's look at World Economic Forum. Let's discuss ideas for the future. It's big day for EduTab since we've completed seven years of our journey, our YouTube channel, our you know existence and our journey of guiding aspirants like you uh, that has like, you know, we've completed seven years. So it is a big day for EduTab. And uh, moving on to uh, talking about World Economic Forum here. Uh, the app called X or the platform called X which was previously known as Twitter it posted in like December 18, 2023 that the World Economic Forum's annual meeting 2024 will take place from 15 to 19 January 2024 which is the time uh, we are sitting in and talking about this so the annual uh, meeting of World Economic Forum that is held in Davos uh, you know uh, towards the end of January, mostly in the ending days of January, is being held right now uh, while we are watching this video. Then, uh, you know, many newspapers, of course, they have been covering all the updates that have been coming from World Economic Forum. World Economic Forum annual uh, meeting 2024 begins amid growing concerns over conflicts, climate change and defects. So, first of all, uh, why is WEF talking about so many topics? I'll let you know in a while. And what does w, uh, WEF do, World Economic Forum do? You must be aware about the reports and indices that uh, World Economic Forum releases on an annual basis. They are important for the objective portion of the examination. So uh, those will also be covered uh, in one of the points. But first of all, uh, let's look at some other news. So there was this National Security Advisors meeting also which was held in Davos to, uh, to discuss Ukraine peace formula and where it was said that India can play a key role. So all the National Security Advisors of all countries uh, who are participants in World Economic Forum meetings, they met and uh, they have highlighted the role of India. So you can use this in other answers uh, related to security and globalization. So if I talk about relevance of this topic from RBI grade B perspective, uh, there is this paper one for economic and social issues. Uh, first of all, I want you to focus at globalization. Obviously, World Economic Forum forms a part uh, of the syllabus. It's not explicitly mentioned, but implicitly, uh, World Economic Forum is a very important organization uh, uh, which forms a part. And the second one is sustainable development and environmental issues. And these are the areas where World Economic Forum focuses a lot on. In fact, the you know gender issues and social justice, that is where uh, also World Economic Forum focuses a lot on. Okay. For NABARD grade A, uh, again, you have the topic called globalization in economic and social issues. And then you have globalization of economy. And similarly, for topics of, uh, you know, gender justice and uh, social issues, uh, this topic hold rele holds relevance. You can definitely quote World Economic Forum in your answers. Then for SEBI grade A examination, that is a topic of English writing skills. Uh, there is a, uh, you know, separate paper of English writing skills for which data by World Economic Forum and anything related to it holds a lot of relevance. Now, what can be the expected question? See, the meeting is right now uh, still going on. So I won't expect you to summarize the meeting of 2024 that is not expected from you and even uh, for the examinations you are preparing for they'll not ask you that uh, summarize the results of world economic forums meet of 2024 they'll never do that what you need to know is the basic concept regarding world economic forum what does it do and what are the achievements uh, that it has seen so far and the achievements are a lot many of these will surprise you so here we have this question called write a short note on World Economic Forum answer for 400 words that is for 10 marks. All right. So uh, here I'm sharing the answer blueprint with you, which has been followed by EduTab students for the past many, many years since descriptive section was introduced. And this uh, answer, uh, you know, this you have to write in this format because this format gets you the maximum marks. If you have any other format with you, kindly let me know in the chat section or comment section. In this way, uh, we divide our answer into three parts. We start our 
our answer with the introduction where we talk about the topic briefly then the second part is the main body and the third part is the conclusion okay and um, now let's see what we'll write in introduction let's talk about general overview and background of world economic forum why was it formed what's the history related to it then in the body part since it's a, it's a short note hence we'll utilize just one body part here where we'll talk about initiatives of world economic forum and also its significance you can like you know separate it in multiple body parts here we are writing in pointers so that you know one body part is sufficient and multiple pointers followed by sub pointers uh, they will be uh, taken to answer this question the third part is the conclusion which will be summary since uh, there is no way forward for world economic forum that is the organization this is the organization that provides way forward for the entire globe so um, talking about introduction let's move to it first of all world economic forum what is it is it an international organization uh, you know formed up of government leaders or political leaders it's nothing like that it's an ngo it's a non governmental organization that means its functioning relies on funds or donations and who is a part of world economic forum governments civil society actors that means other ngos and businessmen basically the idea of world economic forum is to promote a uh, you know responsible capitalism in the world it has you know also taken its focus from responsible capitalism which talks about environment sustainability to gender issues to other issues which impact our societies and the world as a whole so world economic forum anything you talk about it it is covered recently uh, the meeting that is being held right now it's focusing on artificial intelligence and creation of jobs in the world not just in one country and who participates in world economic forums meetings it's like a uh, first of all the participation is based on invitation government leaders go there and participate and many big business tycoons also form a part of world economic forums meetings because wef believes that if businesses where most of the products and money and waste is generated if they are not part of the discussion then uh, you know we cannot have a better planet so uh, first of all talking about its history and uh, what is it so it's an international ngo for public public means the government and private private means businesses are involved for public private cooperation and it was founded in january 1971 who founded it it was a professor it was a german engineer and economist he was professor there and a uh, klaus schwab that's his name so he founded it in 1971 is this name important yes this is important for from your objective point of view ob objective portion point of view and it definitely leaves a good impression if you can write about this in the descriptive portion as well then the forum engages the foremost political business cultural and other leaders of society to shape re global regional and industry agendas as i told you that all kinds of people uh, from all kinds of backgrounds participate but on invitation so there are a uh, crystal awards also which are given by world economic forum we'll talk about them the headquarters are in geneva colony geneva uh, switzerland that's where they are and annually uh, there is a davos meeting there is a meeting of uh, annual meeting of uh, world economic forum that is organized in davos uh, switzerland and that is where uh, that is the biggest uh, you know uh, meeting of all the economists of all the businessmen of all the governments of the world and all the cultural leaders of the world so that is looked upon by media and because that shapes the ideas for future that shapes how governments act in future and it is a very good platform for discussion and deliberation let's say two countries are um, not having good relations so both the countries uh, presidents or prime ministers will definitely attend world economic forums meeting so you know that informal kind of environment which is provided by davos switzerland that uh, you know acts as a barrier of all the resistance that is uh, there between two countries in developing good relations so annually the w uh, the wef world economic forum organizes a meeting at the end of january in davos a mountain resort in uh, i don't know how you pronounce this in the eastern alps uh, region of switzerland it's a german term i think german or swiss term so um, you don't have to write it but uh, uh, but the davos meeting uh, the name of that is important the annual meeting also known as davos agenda has the objective of orienting global leaders on the imperatives of the year ahead okay so all the actions are uh, you know directed on the basis of world economic forum can uh, you know world economic forum issue binding instructions what do you think can it instruct uh, india or usa to uh, you know end their nuclear weapons to you know uh, just uh, 
finish their nuclear stockpile? Can it do that? Can it issue binding instructions? Kindly let me know in the comment section. Now, uh, this is the place Davos. Here you have UK and here you have the English Channel, which is separating UK and France. And here in Switzerland, uh, that is where Davos is located. And here somewhere under Italy, you have the Mediterranean Sea, which is, uh, you know, which shares uh, latitude with us. Now, moving on to the Let's Delve Deeper section. Till here, if you have any additions to make or any questions to ask, you can post them in the chat section. It will be better if you can uh, put them in the comment section so that I can answer them later. And uh, moving on to the body part and talking about initiatives and significance of World Economic Forum. So the first, uh, you know, uh, first of all, uh, this is a snapshot of website of World Economic Forum and look at World Economic Forum annual meeting board of trustees and look at the first board of trustees He's from India, uh, Mukesh uh, D. Ambani. And then you have a uh, president of World Bank that is Ajay uh, S. Banga. And there are other boards of uh, uh, board of uh, like uh, there are other trustees also. Uh, like uh, you can see a few uh, pictures and names here. There are many, many, many more, but you know, starting from the priority. Uh, so these, uh, this is the first snapshot I have for you. Then uh, talking about initiatives of World Economic Forum. The Okay, in the previous picture, I wanted to focus that see, he is a businessman, he is a president of World Bank, that means he is into bureaucracy, he is a diplomat, and uh, you might see other people also who are like uh, representatives of various countries. So, as you can see, that uh, private and public sector both are involved as part of trust, a board of trustees of World Economic Forum. Now, talking about initiatives and significance, the first one that World Economic Forum holds, and on this idea it was created, is stakeholder capitalism. Now, I hope you understand what is the meaning of capitalism uh, you know then what does it mean by stakeholder capitalism stakeholder capitalism is a synonym for responsible capitalism I'll explain this so World Economic Forum basically it was known as European Management Forum uh, okay it was basically uh, you know meant for Europe only previously and this uh, organization it introduced the concept of stakeholder capitalism which is a form of capitalism in which companies do not only optimize short-term profits for their own employees or their own sh shareholders everybody um, you know uh, society at large that is included for example uh, the environment that is getting impacted the tribals that are getting impacted by running uh, business activities of a particular company so all the people are involved and that is known as stakeholder capitalism so wef it was formed on this idea and it has lived up to uh, this value system and the reason for involving businessmen here is the same that you know motivating them at, uh, and telling them that it's your uh, decisions how you carry out businesses how you exploit the environment how you treat people that is what will shape uh, the future that's why the name of this the tagline of this uh, discussion is let's discuss ideas for future because that is what world economic forum does then the second one what you have is davos meetings as i told you these are annual meetings and it is the flagship event of w uh, wef i hope by this time the term flagship is clear to you if you have attended previous lectures of mine flagship is basically a representative or a very important uh, meeting and it is one of the most prestigious and significant gatherings in the global ca calendar as i told you in the beginning itself so uh talking about uh the davos agenda it provides a unique platform for influential individuals kindly note this to discuss and address the myriad challenges facing the world today that uh, it provides them with a with an informal platform the prime minister of a country can sit with uh, can sit on the same table with uh, the you know one of the businessmen of his own country and discuss ideas for future so in 2024 there are around 3000 participants uh, you know that is a uh, you know that's a lot that's a lot and uh, among whom are investors business leaders political leaders economists celebrities journalists and for up to 5 days to discuss global issues across 500 sessions so um, <clears throat> 
it's a long uh, discussion or a long meeting that is going to take place over these uh, five days and uh, definitely it brings out a lot of good results as I'll tell you in the next slide. Uh, thus, World Economic Forum, it has become a forum for various stakeholders to meet and discuss global and regional socio-economic issues. Uh, that is uh, the main agenda of World Economic Forum and this will be made clear by annual reports and indices that WEF releases and uh, all these reports and indices have to be uh, remembered by you have to be studied by by you so first of all uh, Davos 2024 see here you're talking about Davos meetings so let's say whenever you're talking about uh, that you know there is an annual meeting that is being conducted by this organization definitely talk about the recent meeting and uh, or e even if the recent meeting has not concluded as of now then talk about the recent agenda so there are four key themes uh, underlining underlying for the Davos meeting and the four key themes are first one is uh, you know achieving security and cooperation in a fractured world now if you have been following news for the past one year I'm sure you must have understood that you know the world is becoming a scary place to live there is a, a one country which is developing more and more nuclear weapons there are countries like uh, Russia which have uh, you know attacked Ukraine there is this Gaza conflict going on and you see a lot of violence you see a lot of people dying so security and cooperation that how can we enhance security through cooperation in a fractured world that uh, that is one of the agendas of Davos meeting and as I told you uh, that India is our main focus here because India has soft power India has a large amount of hard power also and we have like diaspora as well so India's role has been focused on here so how can we effectively deal with security crisis such as the current situation in Middle East while at the same time putting the floor um, putting the floor uh, under the structural forces of fragmentation and um, here they'll involve, involve governments, international organizations and experts from all the regions. The second one is creating growth and jobs for a new era. Now, you know, automation and loss of jobs has been talked about. So World Economic Forum considers it it as its responsibility because it uh, it has the power to include all the leaders of the world so it considers that it's our uh, it's the organization's responsibility to talk about such important matters so how can government business and civil society come together around a new economic framework to avoid a decade of low growth and put people at the center of more prosperous trajectory now as i told you a few days back we discussed the global economic prospects report and in the global economic prospects report it was said that till um, you know 2024 up to 2025 they're going to be the slowest growing years and even after recession we did not have this much uh, this low level of uh, growth rate uh, for various countries for the entire world as we are witnessing right now so lesser growth rate or rate also converts into lack of jobs or loss of jobs for people uh, in and around your country all over the globe so this is an area where World Economic Forum is focusing on because it has all the businessmen it has all the job providers of the world uh, under one umbrella okay now uh, the third one is artificial intelligence as a driving force for the economy and society so here um, you're talking about uh, the latest technology which is supposed to help people but on the other hand also to take uh, take away jobs of people so how can we use AI to benefit everyone how is the divergent regulatory landscape balancing innovation with societal risks and then a long-term strategy for climate nature and energy that is supposed to be developed here and uh, this is uh, going to be uh, these are four are going to be the main agendas of the Davos meeting now talking about annual reports and indices that is your point number three see here we've discussed a lot we've talked about uh, the recent meeting in like a very uh, short uh, duration so you can mention the topics the four uh, agendas of World Economic Forum of this uh, Davos meeting in this answer that you will be writing talking about annual reports and indices so there are six to seven annual reports and indices which we prepare for the objective portion also and kindly mention these uh, that it releases uh, various annual reports which play a significant role in telling us that how our society is doing how our governments are doing how our economies are doing so the first one is global competitiveness report then global IT report is there global gender gap report is there which you know um, it is at par with the uh, gender indices provided by human development uh, report so global gender gap report it is very important and uh, annual basis so global risk support is there global 
travel and tourism report is there financial development report is there and global enabling trade report which is you know obviously enabling uh, trade with uh, is one of the agendas of world economic forum since its inception all right so these are the seven reports uh, kindly mention them in your answer talking about the fourth one which is international diplomacy international diplomacy what is world economic forum doing to promote international diplomacy let's say leaders of china and india they are not able to discuss something on which they have have uh, resistance on discussing they have issues regarding a uh, regarding a uh, particular problem and you know leaders of both india and china they will definitely meet at a uh, davos meeting or a uh, world economic forums platform then definitely they can use that platform to have an informal discussion and reach to uh, easy solutions and this has happened in the past in fact the creation of g20 that is group of 20 countries which involves developed and developing countries both and it's a very very important organization even the names of its members are important for your objective portion so that was also created on the backdrop of uh, world economic forums meetings so first of all north and south korea you know they are at tussle with each other north korea is a uh, you know is uh, in one way threat to many developed countries and to the rest of the world since they pro uh, possess uh, a hypersonic missile and uh, they also possess nuclear weapons so they held their first ministerial level meeting in davos so that is international national diplomacy you can talk about the second one is east german prime minister hans modrow and german chancellor uh, helmut kohl met to discuss german un reunification if you find the staff if you find the name staff then kindly mention that you know german reunification talks were held in davos then in 1992 south african president uh day clerk he met Nelson, um, uh, Nelson Mandela and Zulu Prince uh, at the annual meeting. Uh, Zulu Prince at the annual meeting and uh, they worked for a joint appearance and reunification of South Africa. The most important one is here, uh, that is 19, in 1998. There was decided, there was emphasis laid, uh, laid to include major developing countries in the, you know, economic process of the world, in the conversations about, uh, you know, uh, moving towards better economies of the world uh, or improving the global economic situation. So it was decided that uh, a body uh, with 20 countries that should be set up, which should have half developed economies and the other, other ones should be developing ones. And such a meeting, it actually resulted in the formation of G20, which was uh, the first meeting in the same year of Davos meeting of that year. It was held in uh, Bonn, Germany, where a G20 was formed okay g20 was formed or the idea of g20 was laid so here you can see that you know world economic forum is a very important organization uh, to promote peace in the world to promote more social justice in the world to promote more economic justice in the world and uh, recently there was a report by oxfam uh, i'm sure that you must be aware of oxfam's previous report that uh, one percent of the people hold the maximum amount of the world, uh, wealth so uh, and that is the case for india also now oxfam has recently said that and it has said that world economic forums meetings that uh, the wealth of the richest one percent it has more than doubled in the previous few years or the previous one decade so uh, all these issues which uh, you know which cannot be discussed at world bank meetings or united nations they can be discussed very lightly uh, at world economic forum then talking about conclusion kindly give a summary of uh, this note that you have written uh, till here you will be done with almost 350 words and uh, try to sum up your answers around 350 words uh, for a 400 word question if you can don't just touch that 400 word uh, uh, word word limit if you don't have any value addition if you're not writing anything new so talking about its summary that world economic forums efforts are centered around the belief that collaboration between different sectors and stakeholders as we saw is essential for creating positive change on a global scale and a world economic forum it has also faced criticisms and debates over its effectiveness but it remains a significant player in shaping the global agenda fostering cooperation among leaders to address complex challenges facing the world so you know this or uh, this uh, conclusion line it can be a general conclusion for any of the organizations that you are uh, talking about for any of the organizations you're trying to write about and uh, in like conclusion or summaries what i want is i want to create i want to make a point here that write one line which is very much specific to the organization you are summarizing about and then write another line which is very much general uh, for all the organizations that you're writing about this line can go and uh, kindly uh, 
post your answers in the comment section in next 48 hours. So today is Thursday. So Friday uh, 5 p.m. cannot be the deadline. The deadline is going to be Saturday 5 p.m. So kindly post your answers. Um, by uh, Saturday 5 p.m. that is in the next 48 hours so that uh, we can provide you with free evaluation. Our evaluation is very comprehensive and many students are benefiting out of it and thank you for joining in. Thank you for your patience that despite of the technical issues which were present in the live session yesterday um, you continued uh, to follow the series and watch this and uh, you know just kindly follow the updated timetable for the answers that you're about to post. Post them by Saturday 5 p.m. and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, again at 5 p.m. in a live session and tomorrow we'll discuss the ASA report that is annual survey of education report annual status of education report it's a survey conducted by Pratham uh, or Pratham foundation it, it's again an NGO and very important one for India so we'll discuss that in detail and uh, kindly contact us at this number or this email ID and let me know in the comment section how are you finding these videos take care and all the very best